Tuesday. Today is my day off from work. I just sent over some check-in pictures to my coach and now I am about to get started on some breakfast. So instead of a breakfast sandwich, this time I'm going to just do like my scrambled egg beaters with some cheese in it. Yeah, lady, it's exciting. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to do my egg beaters with some melted vegan cheese in there. Uh, two of my vegan sausage patties and then I'm going to do some oatmeal and some blueberries. This is one of my favorite breakfasts to have. It's just I'm always on the go and it's a lot easier to eat a sandwich versus like, you know, eating with a spoon. So let's do breakfast. to email me back, but I wanted to show you guys something. It came in the mail. I have not opened it yet. So we're gonna take a look at that. And um, just in the meantime here, I put on a little bit of makeup, actually like tried to do something with my hair. And then I've also been studying. What have I been studying for? I'll tell ya. The NASA, uh, National Academy of Sports Medicine, uh, their CPT and their certified nutrition courses. So I'm looking forward to taking that exam here in the next few weeks. So I finally take that leap. It's a big leap of faith for me. Um, it's something I've been interested in, in a, for a long time, but I just never actually had the courage to pull the trigger until now. So, uh, let me show you guys this. All right, got plenty of these Protan applicators. These are the little sponges that you use to put it on. And I got the whole shebang here, so. Even have to cut that. That was that was nice. So this is the pre-tan scrub that you used. It's called that you use. It's called uh, get buffed. So you use this like a week beforehand just to kind of exfoliate and get your skin pH balanced. So that way the coat of tan actually like doesn't look splotchy and you know. So that's that. Comprehensive colors. This is the top coat. Okay. 
This is some Bikini Bite to hold the bikinis in place. Um, if you guys are not familiar with competing, this stuff is a godsend. You don't want your bikini to move. Show shine. All right, this is some posing oil that you would put on like right before you're about to step on stage. Um, this is a back applicator, so that way you can reach back there. And then, whoa, okay. Uh, <laughs> and then here is the base coat. So that's all the stuff that came in my kit right here. This is the first time I'm doing my own competition tan. First time I just had them spray me. I just really like the way Pro Tan looks on under stage lights. I really enjoy the color. It's just a very beautiful, nice tan. I love it. So I'm very, very excited to use it. Am I a little nervous? Yes. Um, I have a little bit of experience like tanning myself, um, but sometimes I just feel like I don't do that good of a job. Oh my gosh, I already have Pro Tan on my fingers. All right, lady, let's put this away and we're gonna go eat some lunch now. pounded that. That was so good. I was just really craving peanut butter, guys. Um, I eat so much sweet potato because it's high in fiber. People always ask me, why sweet potato? Why do you eat so much sweet potato? That's why it helps me hit my fiber goal, and it's, it's pretty dang good. I don't mind eating sweet potatoes every day. Uh, but my coach did email me back, so it looks like protocol is staying the exact same this week. Um, the addition of one refeed is the only thing that's different. So my macros are still 135 carb, 135 protein, and 45 fat, and also five sessions of that 50 minutes steady state on the treadmill incline that I normally do. And then the refeed will be 125 grams of protein, 235 carbs, and 45 fat. So going to finish out the rest of this day with a full day of eating, and then you know I'm going to meal prep for tomorrow because I have to go to work and that's the best way for me to accomplish my goals is to meal prep everything in advance so we can go ahead and do that together um, today is the start of my new training program so i will not be doing any deload this week i will be going back into my regular exercise routine it's time to go full force back in let's do this Those were my leg day shoes, they're nice and flat, so now I'm changing it to my running shoes. Um, going to the bathroom, filling up my water bottle, grabbing my charger, and then I'm going to plan out tomorrow's refeed while I'm on the treadmill. Um, it takes me about an hour to lift, and then whatever cardio I do after or in the morning. People always ask me how long I'm in the gym for, and it can really range, but at least expect an hour to even two, two and a half, just depending on how much cardio and if I do posing. So yeah, it's a little bit of, it's a little bit of time. So, all right, I'm gonna go to the treadmill. Bye. All right, just got back from the gym, guys. That leg day felt amazing. I am telling you, if you do not have deloads programmed into your meso cycle, then you definitely should because it's going to make you feel a lot better and you come back even stronger and mentally more prepared and there's just so many benefits to having a deload like I cannot even begin to explain to you guys so 
If you want to see what that leg day workout looks like, uh, I believe I posted it in two videos before this one, so I can link that up above for you guys. Um, and now I'm going to meal prep for tomorrow. So I do get a high carb day, AKA refeed. Um, and I'm going to show you guys what I have planned. My on the go meal, which is so perfect for after fasted cardio, is this breakfast sandwich that I've been making. Now, I usually put it on just one slice of bread and I cut it in half just to save on the carbs, but since it's a higher carb day, I'm just going to do two slices. Doing the sesame Ezekiel bread, two of these vegan sausage patties, one slice of the vegan American cheese, and then egg beaters. those pre-workout waffles but I was really wanting a pop tart after I saw the box at the store so I knew for my next like high carb slash refeed day that I at least wanted to implement like one pop tart so I'm really excited for that. What I have planned for the rest of my high carb day is a stir fry with white rice and some strawberries of course so that'll be tomorrow night's dinner. Uh, but for now, um, I'm back from the gym. I haven't ate anything yet, so I'm going to eat some strawberries now and maybe even start on my own little stir fry for tonight's dinner, so. Finished up my fasted cardio that was 50 minutes on the treadmill. Today is my high carb day. So, get a little bit of coffee here. So, I'm nine weeks out this week, and everyone says this is kind of when it starts to get tougher, and I believe it. Mentally, I am so strong, I am so determined, so ready. It's not breaking my spirit, but my body is starting to definitely feel the effects of this prep so far. Um, I'm not recovering as much. Definitely a little bit more sore. My attention span is not great. <laughs> um, <laughs> I promise I did not do that on purpose. 
I'm just trying to think of what else. Um, because other people have genuinely been asking me how I'm feeling, which is super nice, super nice, super kind. Thank you for asking and checking on me. I'm doing wonderfully. It's just my body is tiring out a lot faster. When you get to this part of prep, I think the most important thing in the gym is to realize that your body's not in the same stage physiologically as it was when you very first started. Your conditioning is different. So cardio is going to feel different. Uh, weightlifting is going to feel different. Just your day-to-day -day activities is going to feel different. So for me, I told you just lifting up the garbage kind of feels heavy. Um, attention spans not quite as sharp. Uh, for me, uh, lifting things feel heavier. I have to be more diligent in my resting. Sometimes I have to rest between like a few reps, just take a few extra breaths. Um, and I think the most important thing is when this is happening, you are so prone to injury because you're tired and things are feeling heavy that your form starts to slack. So whatever you do, just really focus on your breath, brace, and just really take your time and be patient with yourself. And when you can remind yourself to do those things, I promise your sessions in the gym, even though they feel different, just realize you're in a different stage. Don't beat yourself up about it. Don't get mad that it's happening because it's just a new stage that you have to learn to be flexible with. So that's kind of how I'm feeling. I'm about to dive into this breakfast sandwich that I showed you guys earlier. Oh yeah, baby. Yes. The holy grail. <laughs> So once again, this is two vegan sausage patties, some egg beaters, and then a slice of vegan American cheese, and then a sesame seed Ezekiel bread, two slices. And it's so delicious. <laughs> so my weight this week has just been a crazy amount of weight loss. So on Saturday, I was 112 when I was kind of averaging around the 111s. And I, my lowest weigh-in this week was 107.8, I think, which is crazy to think about because my first prep, 107 pounds, was what I weighed on the stage. I am still nine weeks out. So this is so insane to me that I am finally going to be lean enough for first call-outs on stage. Your girl is pumped. So going to finish this breakfast sandwich um, I do work today, so going to do that. You guys know I have my mashed sweet potatoes and my vegan chicken as my lunch, as always. I have a cherry Coke Zero that I'm going to sip on. And then I always have K-Cup pods just in case I need some coffee. I told you in the afternoon I can get that afternoon slump, so I always have that on deck and ready. And then I have that rice cake with the PB2 as my snack. And then I'll take you guys to the gym with me this week. All right, see you guys later. So, I was going to save those Pop-Tarts for my intra-workout snack. Like, basically eating it during my workout because it's really sugary, it's got a lot of glucose, and it would help with my performance in the gym. But I couldn't really help myself when I was at work. I decided to eat the Pop-Tarts kind of as like my dessert followed by lunch. So not mad about it, but at the same time, a little mad about it. <laughs> um, I haven't had Pop-Tarts in such a long time. So that was kind of a nice little high carb day treat to myself. So let's go to the gym and get this push day done.
just finished up that push day workout. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't really like in the moment during that workout. Um, there was a lot of times where I kind of had to check myself and be like, hey, are you training or are you just exercising? So uh, every once in a while I mentally would check in with myself and then I'd be like, oh yeah, like fucking train. So. <laughs> Uh, that's kind of where my head was at during this workout. It felt really good, honestly. It wasn't like like I was dying or anything, but it also didn't feel like, oh, this is cakewalk. Like it was just kind of like a moderate type of workout. Um, like I mentioned earlier in my video, you just kind of have to be flexible with yourself and realize like you can try and be on your A1 game as much as possible, but sometimes you have to give yourself a little bit of credit, a little bit of forgiveness, and just be sure that you keep on checking in on yourself and kind of validate like where you're at and what you're feeling and what your body's going through. So yeah, just do those mental little check-ins. That always helps me and gets my mind back onto the path. So there's a cute little farmer's market that happens here every Thursday right outside my gym. Um, it's so neat to see all of these different like Hawaii foods and like all these cultures just like intermixing. Uh, I always want to go there so bad, but I need to wait until the end of prep so that way I can actually, you know, enjoy the foods without tracking them. So yeah, someday I'll get to the farmer's market and try it out, but today is not that day. <laughs> all right, going to head home eat some strawberries, have those tracked, and then a stir fry tracked as well. Um, I really feel like those pop tarts helped me so much during this workout, as funny as that sounds. Even though I had it for lunch, um, I kind of got off work early, so I feel like they were still running through my veins. I got like a really good pump. So, all right, time to head home, eat some more food, edit this video, and let's go. <laughs> So I just did tofu and vegetables for dinner and now I'm going to do some oatmeal and strawberries as my macro cap. So unfortunately no white rice, but hey, I got oatmeal so I'm not complaining. one lower carb, one higher carb, and I hope you enjoyed watching my delt slash push day. So a lot of this is going to be pretty redundant because that's essentially what prep is, is you keep repeating the same things in hopes of achieving a goal. It would not make sense if my videos were different week to week because then I'm not being consistent. I'd be changing up all my variables. So yeah, it's a little redundant, but at the same time, that's kind of what's refreshing about watching prep videos is knowing that like you're not alone in doing so, that there's other people out there who are executing the same things day to day, day in, day out, 
meal prepping, sleeping, waking up for fasted cardio, going to work, going back to the gym after going to work, going home, wash the dishes, meal prep again for the next day, try and get some sleep. It's, it's just kind of nice, you know, just seeing that you're not alone, that other people are making the time, putting in the effort. Um, at least that's one thing that I really enjoy about watching other people's prep videos and also just like the creativity that you start to see from other people too. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. I will see you for next week when I'm eight weeks out. Oh, damn, that's getting close. <laughs> All right, bye.